right, let's talk about this weather because it is going to be a little bit windy or very windy, depending on where you live here in the Southland as those gusty San Ana winds really start to pick up. This is our Long Beach camera right now because of the winds. We don't really have a lot of cloud cover overhead, but it is very chilly. 46 degrees near the airport, and then we are looking at these winds really cranking up right now in our usual wind prone areas for those Santa Ana winds, especially through the Inland Empire San Bernardino right now. Double digit. These are sustained winds. These are not even the gusts. 23 mile per hour winds for Van Nuys, nine for Camarillo, but you can see how it's filtering in from inland to the coast, and this is our typical offshore fashion, so a lot of our beach communities today will be a lot warmer than our inland communities. Wind advisories across the board here in the Southland from the lower elevations, the beaches to the foothills until tomorrow afternoon, and then also includes the high deserts like the Antelope Valley, where we could see gusts up to 40, 45 miles per hour. Some of the strongest winds will be over the mountains of LA and San Bernardino County, and then also including the Inland Empire gusts here 60 to 70 miles per hour. So if you're feeling it and you have allergies, you're not alone because we have medium to high pollen count right now, and it's going to continue to last with us through the end of the week because of these offshore winds, alder, ash, and juniper floating in the air. And this is what you need to know. With the return of the Santa Ana winds, the strongest winds will take place this afternoon because now that the sun is coming up, this is going to help fuel the winds, and it's going to get stronger and stronger. And then by the time we head into the overnight hours, we'll start to see the winds relax. Warming trend also kicking into high gear by the end of the week because of these lingering offshore winds. Take a look at the future cast. You can see how by the time we head into the 2 p.m. hour, we're definitely going to see much more of the winds and even areas that normally don't see some winds will start to see the breezes pick up and this will last with us through the evening. And then as soon as the sun goes down, we start to lose a little bit more of that energy. But those winds will continue to stay offshore through tomorrow and we could still see some of the breezes picking up tomorrow morning. So what happens with these Santa Ana winds. If you don't really know what Santa Ana winds are, high pressure settles over the east of the Sierras. The air pushes through the mountains, compressing, warming, going into the deserts. And then once it's at the deserts, it dries out even more. So when I talk about it going from the desert toward the ocean, this is what I'm talking about. Because by the time it makes its way to the coast, it gets hotter, it gets drier, and we get these very dangerous fire conditions. Temperatures today in the 60s by the weekend. We're talking temperatures in the 70s. Back to you guys. All right, we'll take that. <laughs>